All right, this video is on capacitive reactance. And capacitive reactance is just the internal resistance of the capacitor. And it is directly, well, it is directly inversely proportional to the frequency and the capacitance. And this is the equation for it, for uh, capacitive reactance. Sometimes you'll see it written this way. Uh, it's the same thing, the only difference is that omega, or the angular frequency, is replacing 2 pi f. So I wrote here that the angular frequency, omega, is equal to 2 pi f. So another way to solve for the capacitive reactance is to find the voltage on the capacitor and divide that by the current on the capacitor. So let's let's jump into a, to a problem real quick. So here, uh, you'll notice I have one capacitor, and it has a capacitance of 10 farads. The power supply, I didn't write it in here, but it has a, a current going through it, and the frequency of that is 60 hertz. And the current is 12 amps. So uh, what I want to do is I want to find the capacitive reactance of this capacitor, and I want to find the voltage on the capacitor. So first thing we got to do is, is solve for the capacitive reactance. But uh, sometimes you'll, you'll see 0.159 written up here instead of seeing the 2 pi and that's just that's just to replace it to make the calculations a little bit simpler but if you're using a calculator it really doesn't matter so let's let's get right into this so let's see the capacitive reactance um, the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 pi then you're going to multiply by the frequency and the capacitance so the frequency is 60 hertz and the capacitance is 10 farads. So if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 2.65 times 10 to the negative 4. Whoops. Uh, to the negative 4 ohms. Okay, and that's equal to the capacitive reactance. So we've solved for this one. Now all we need to do is solve for the voltage of the capacitor. So the voltage in the capacitor, we could actually use uh, this formula and just rearrange it. So here we're just going to rearrange this guy so it looks like this. The voltage of the capacitor is going to be equal to the capacitive reactance multiplied by the current uh, through the capacitor. So we already solved for the, the re capacitive reactance. So that's going to be equal to 2.65 times 10 to the negative 4 multiplied by uh, the, the current in the capacitor, which is 12 amps. So we're going to put 12 amps here. If you multiply that through, you're going to get about 0 0.003 volts. So that's how you would solve for that one. So let's go on and do another problem on this. So now here, we're going to use those formulas again. And we want to solve for the capacitive reactance. So here we have that the capacitor is equal to 20 farads and that the frequency is equal to 1 kilohertz. So we want to find the capacitive reactance. Again, we're going to use the formula that the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 pi f times capacitance. And we're just going to plug in these values. So we're going to have... now. You could rewrite this or you could just use the 0.159. You can say 0.159 uh, over the frequency, which the frequency is 1 kilohertz, so 1 kilohertz. And then we're going to multiply that by the, by the capacitance, which is 20 farads. And if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to come out with uh, 7.96 times 10 to the negative 6 ohms. And that's how you would solve for that. So now let's try to solve for this one. Let's say we want to get uh, the capacitive reactance, but this time we only know the voltage on the capacitor and the current on the capacitor. So that one's pretty, this one's actually a, kind of an easy one, which is nice. Uh, hopefully your teachers give you lots of these. Uh, so here we have 120 volts. And that's going to be divided by the current, which is 12 amps, which is going to leave you with just 10 ohms. 
And that's how you would use that formula. So uh, I hope this video made sense. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you out. And uh, good luck in your classes.